here in Ohio and the world's longest long truss bridge. Uh, a long truss bridge was designed by Long, Stephen Long? Stephen Long. Stephen Long, and uh, he was a famous explorer and a bridge builder who's known for doing, uh, he was the third one to cross country. You had, of course, um, Lewis and Clark, then you had Zebulon Pike, which you might know with Pike Peak, and then Stephen Long did it. But what he was really known for was the Long Trust Bridges, and this one here in Troy is one of his best examples. Now, Rich, do you know anything about um, the reason for having a covered bridge as opposed to why not just leave this open? You know, why the extra expense for all this stuff we're seeing above us besides just the aesthetics of it? Well, there's a couple main, a couple reasons. The main one is protection of the foundation. The foundation's all made out of wood. The trusses, as you can see over here, there's two on each side. They're made out of wood. Okay. The deck here is all made out of wood. If you leave it open to the elements, it rots and deteriorates. I got you. So the added expense of building a roof pays off in the long run by having a bridge that'll last you all oh, these many years. Right. See, so you put wood on the side, protects the thing. The roof is a uh, tin, tin roof. So makes them last a lot longer this when was this when uh, restored 2005 2005 they uh, redid it so even now this is 15 years old and it looks pretty good shape cars still drive over this which how many cars in 1860 were driving over this rich cars oh well <laughs> I don't know about that but I'm sure there's a few covered wagons and, uh, what do they call it? Cows toga wagons or whatever? Oh, God, yeah, I can't pronounce it either. Well, we've reached the end of this. This is, what, 230 feet? Um, 222 feet. So we're talking about a little less than a football field worth of bridge. All right, let's take a walk back across this bridge. This is a two-way bridge after all. Okay, what would that be? Okay, up the top of the walls, you see all the uh, holes in the walls down here? The windows? Windows in the. What are they for? I imagine uh, there used to be horses back on here, probably so the smell of the horse shit would rise out of the place. <laughs> Looks like we got it. Yeah, a... um, but it also gives out light. Look how light it is in here. Without it, it'd be dark. Uh, Probably also the fact that, you know, a wind helps relieve a too, wind coming down. So not too much yeah, pressure. I, I got you there. As you can see, this car, this car is still going by here. It didn't collapse on us. Thankful of that. Uh, any other more interesting facts you have on this bridge, or is that about the limit of your bridge knowledge? Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> is this a toll bridge? Uh, it's a toll, it bri now. It's toll bridge now. Anything yeah, I step yeah, foot on. So that's a toll bridge. <laughs> we'll see where the toll bridge takes you next. <laughs> okay, since that last car was able to drive over without falling in, I'm going to test our luck. Uh, I believe me and Rich both under the required weight of this bridge. A little, a little faster than walking, I'd say. Oh yeah. That's probably why they invented the car. 